Hello and welcome back everyone. It's a PC noob. Just collecting some of that willa I spent all last episode on. Um so let me put some of this stuff away. So I got a different uh idea in mind for today's episode. As you can see, I've got a little bit of wool gathered here. Um, the rest of it's underneath in the chests. Uh, there's something quickly I wanted to show you guys on camera before I get to today's project. So yeah, I put in this little smeltery here. Now, this is kind of the basic outline for it. I want to add a bit more detail, like you saw I grabbed some of this stuff here like some cobblestone walls, some half slabs, some uh, stairs but I don't think I'm gonna mess around with that too much right at the moment I just want to bring these materials over here to remind myself so what I'm thinking over here is I'm gonna build uh, kind of a barn and uh, it's not gonna be the most luxurious of barns by any means uh, just enough to kind of distinguish this place as an uh, animal refugee, so to, uh, so to speak. And I plan on putting a few different, well not different types, but um, some wheat farms in here where you just go up, uh, push a dispenser, the water comes out, floods the field, collect all the wheat and just replant the, the seeds be pretty basic not the uh, not like an AFK uh, farm by any means so I'm just gonna gather some materials to lay out uh, an outline and I'm just gonna crash here for the night and uh, well actually I need some spiders to spawn so I might work through the night a bit so I'm not 100% sure how big I want this thing. Eleven wide. Uh, it's gonna face um, this way. Um, the opening will be like this side and the other side, and the walls will be along this side if that makes any sense. Oh, lost my count. Yes, yeah, so I'm uh, really enjoying all the support for this series. Um, I'm actually getting comments asking for more Minecraft videos, so if you guys don't mind more of a like a let's play out type video uh, I'm more than willing to put out more videos as much as I can. So that's just going to be kind of like a marker. Um, I got the quartz for like a white outline and then the red stained clay for the actual barn. But I'm not too sure what else I'm going to implement. I know I want areas for um, storing the animals. Probably just like a, a fenced in area. So they can kind of free roam a bit. Really need some spiders. Because I need string. I actually left this area dark. That was a horrible shot. Um, when I needed string. I was doing the wool factory. Goodbye. Um, while I was over here earlier flattening this out, I found a few different caves. Um, one between the two islands. Holy mackerel. Which uh, led to a bunch of zombies. 
um, and chickens and zombies holding chicken eggs so I had to clear all that out it was uh, the cause of a lot of noise um, back in spawn there so I'm not getting much luck with the spider spawning but that's alright so I'm not 100% sure what the design for this farm or, or this barn is going to be but uh, I'm just going to go ahead and start laying some of these blocks out so you guys kind of get the idea I was thinking like uh, the wood outline like that, but I'm not sure if I like that. I don't have a lot of quartz though either, so. Let's try something like that. I think that looks pretty neat. So I'm just thinking of kind of a simple pattern like this um, with, I don't know, I'm not sure if it's, I'm going to put oak plank roof or um, spruce wood roof. I haven't decided yet. I'm thinking the oak wood look would look better. Um, and I don't have a lot of spruce anyways to do that big of a roof. I'm also going to do like a farmhouse over here. Um, I'm not sure but I got a cream for some sort of tower there. And then, like I said, cow, uh, a cow pen, a pig pen, chicken coop, different things like that. I would like to use the block of course to accent some of these um, areas but I'm not sure how or where I still have not been able to find any uh, green cactus dye, unfortunately, but I feel in the next coming episodes I'll be going back to the nether, working on the nether hub, hooking up the other portals and seeing where that leads me. Now I know... Uh, just over that way, past the snow biome, there's a few good surprises. A um, few things I'd like to build around, like a village. So in the coming episodes, I'll be heading that way. Um, and I'll be doing like a horse ranch to start. Just to gather some horses together, breed a few. Uh, maybe bring a couple of the best ones back here and have some horse stalls in this barn. I'm not sure about that though, it's quite the journey. Uh, there's a lot of water involved with that, so it could be quite the headache. And now that I'm in putting all this wood in, I really think the um, block of quartz would look better for some of these supports. Really like how this red stained clay looks though.
How does that look? I need a food break. Uh, that's a little wide, isn't it? Yeah, that looks a little better. I think that looks a little bit better. I'm not 100% sure, but I think this is going to take a lot of tweaking to do. A lot of fine details to find out the exact shape I'd like. Um, as with most of my builds, I don't bother to do any of this in creative ahead of time. I just go with the flow, do it all survival. I find it's I find it's most organic that way. Yeah. And that way you're also gu guaranteed um, a very functional design because you are doing it in creative and you have to move around and get to all the areas and that can be quite frustrating. So I'm not 100% sure how I want to do this. Um, I think I'm just going to tinker around with this for a little bit. You guys get the idea where I'm going with it. Uh, I'll come back when I have a design I like and that I'm um, comfortable with. Another thing I'm going to do is pop out this grass. Probably put some logs down. And then dig all this up and put in dirt. So there's dirt inside the barn, not grass. I think that looks neat. Looks uh, trampled because there'd be no way there'd be grass inside here. People walking, animals in and out, just wouldn't happen. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. I'm just gonna keep working away at this. If anything exciting or I have a revolutionary idea or anything that changes, uh, I'll make sure I keep you guys in touch. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Welcome back, everyone. I figured I'd bring all these cows over to their new home and greet them to their new home the same time as I greet you guys to what I've created. Uh, I think that's quite a few of them. I'll come back and get the rest. But I apologize for not keeping you up to date with the uh, process on the barn. But um, I got going. I got in a groove. And I didn't want to stop. I just uh, worked on it for three to four hours. I came up with something pretty proud of, pretty happy with. Um, let's just follow. Oh, no, get out of the water. Out of the water. Uh, I made a little pen for all these cows. A little. It's quite a big pen. Um, should be right here. Let's try to get as many of these cows in here as we can. Come on. So there it is. Um, changed up the block of quartz to columns of quartz. I thought it looked a lot better. And I really fancified things. I know it was going to be just a simple barn, but it's quite fancy. This is where the chickens are going to go out back. And I might do a, like a little chicken hut for them. But uh, yeah, I got the dirt floor in. Uh, bottom floor is all done. I got a bit of a second floor done up. 
It's really fancy looking. Got some support beams going across the top. So yeah, I'm pretty much calling this done. I'm going to just keep tinkering away on it. Uh, I want to do the, the house, the farmhouse still. But I thought I'd let you guys know how it looked. I'm pretty happy with it. The roof was a bit of a challenge. Getting the right shape for everything, but I think it turned out well. Come on. A lot of these cows I'm going to have to come back and probably slaughter because they're being silly. Come on. Get in here. Like I said, it doesn't really matter as long as I got two over there. I think I'm going to kill a couple of these off. You can always breed more. And I'm just going to quickly go get the chickens. Now, I think these chickens are going to be a bit more of a hassle than the cows were, but... Let's see how it goes. And like I said, I apologize for not keeping you up to date with the progress on the barn, but at the moment I have a livid, limited hard drive. Uh, I'm in the process of getting uh, an external hard drive so I can record a lot more gameplay footage. But uh, yeah, that's the main, oh, main reason uh, I'm limited on storage space. Otherwise I probably would have recorded the majority of the process, but I'll take you guys a little tour after I get these chickens back and just show you some of what I did and how I came about the ideas and then I'll head over and knock a couple things off the bulletin board and call this an episode I'm really proud of how that that barn turned out quite pleased with it spent a couple hours um, just looking at Google images of uh, barns and kind of copying somewhat of a style and getting some ideas for getting some ideas for the the white trim uh, and then I flushed out a few ideas gave it a bit of uh, volume with the different uh, fluctuations of the red clay which I'll show you you gotta get these guys to the back of the barn here as you can see, I filled in a lot more of the area with dirt. Uh, there's no running water underneath, so I had to fill it all the way to the bottom. Uh, that little square over there is actually a well that goes down to a cave. Come on, chicken. Uh, I left a little bit of a lake. Something to fish on, maybe. As I got a really nice fishing rod that's giving me really good, uh, really good loot. Few dog or er, dog tags, name tags. Come on. I get these four into their home. I gotta be careful. Uh, there's nothing stopping me from leaving. So I'll have to do something about that. Thanks. For now, I'll just have to dirt wall them off, and I'll come back and fancify it. So, see you guys in a little bit. So I just blocked that off with a little bit of fence. Uh, I fancified that a bit with some fence gates for easy access. Uh, I just remember there is one other thing I want to do before I call the end of this episode. And that's just put in some very basic wheat farms. Uh, I'll show you guys a quick design and then I'll come back with the finished product. But I'm not 100% sure where I'm going to do this. So I figure this is as good a spot as any. I'm just going to mark it off with a dispenser like that. And what you want to do is dig underneath of it. Place a water source. Come back. Fill your bucket up. And then put the bucket inside the dispenser. Now what this is going to do is you're going to walk up to it. And you'll have all pressure plates around it. And it will dispense the water. Uh, coming out it's gonna go four by four all the way around for a little bit of a wheat patch and I'll just do probably about four of these and fence them off 
So it's really simple. The water will just get sucked back up into it. All you got to do is walk up, hit the pressure plate, and then replant all the seeds. It'll be really simple. So I'll see you guys in a little bit with the, with the finished product. So I just got done doing the wheat field here. Uh, I had to improvise with some of the light source and put up a lamp in the middle. But besides that, um, everything's good to go. I'll show you how it works. You step up and launches the water out. It uh, that covers a bit more of an area than the uh, water source does. That's the reason for the way it's designed. But and then you just step back on the pressure plate, and I'll show you an easier way to do it. Hit the pressure plate, stand on the dispenser until you hear that noise. And then just hit the pressure plate again. Now I'm just going to show you. It's simple. Oh. Simple as long as you don't accidentally hit the pressure plates. So you just go through. And plant the crops. And when the time comes, you just come in. Step on the pressure plate. So I think that's a few things I'll be able to cross off the list today on the bulletin board. Um, getting a lot of progress done. I apologize for the length in between the Minecraft episodes. I know there's a demand for more videos, but I do work a full-time job. Um, last few weeks I've gotten a bit of time off, so I've been able to put up a few more videos than normal. But um, hopefully I'll be able to get more videos out in the near future. Uh, work seems to be slowing down a bit. So I'll have more time to invest in quality videos. Uh, I'm also working on a Banish tutorial at the moment. And um, always continue with the Game Dev Tycoon series. So make sure you check those out. Just before I go over to the bulletin board, uh, I wanted to give just a brief tour of how I came about this barn. Um, there's nothing in particularly that struck out. Uh, this design here with the fence gates and the trap doors above it, uh, I did see that in a B00 episode of Minecraft. Uh, I believe it was one of his Let's Builds. But I put these uh, flower boxes underneath and the fence posts on the side. I did have blocks of quartz here but it left an outline that I didn't like. I just decided to add some fence posts on the side for design and some that scared me. Uh, some fence posts around the white there to uh, just help throw off the white a bit and accent it a bit. Um, can't see it from this area. I Same with the fence posts on the inside. Plus it will give something to leash uh, animals up to in the future. If you look back here, there's actually wood in through those holes. It, they're uh, doors, not trap doors, but doors. And I'll show you how I did that. I uh, basically built the wall too thick. I uh, gave it a little bit of a platform for the doors to sit on. And made it look nice on the inside with these fence gates. And a combination of oak wood stairs. Got trap doors in the corner for shelving units. And everything looks really nice up here. Hello, spider. Down you go. You're dead. Um, the only other thing I wanted to mention was the roof, which was a combination of spruce half slabs, spruce stairs, and spruce planks. And I just kept tinkering around with that until I got a shape that I liked. So I really hope you guys like that barn. I spent a lot of time on it and I think it looks really neat. So, hope you guys appreciate it. Uh, I'll meet you guys over there. Back at the bulletin board. Now, I'm just looking for the things I need to cross off. Um really don't see anything actually I thought I had some things to cross off 
this is probably what I'm going to be working on in the next few episodes. Um, after I go to the nether though. Because I want to find the new uh, acacia tree or acadia tree. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Uh, don't know how I'm going to implement that into my design. Um, I have to take into account for the way it grows to the side. But yeah, there's nothing there I can really cross off. I, I haven't made grinders yet. I just made a farm. But uh, yeah, that's it. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I'm going to just go around and start clearing up all this old garbage. Uh, if you did, or you are entertained by my Minecraft playing, uh, make sure you like this video and click that like button. Uh, subscribe to my channel stay up to date with the latest videos. Uh, I hope everybody enjoyed themselves. I am the PC Noob, and as always, have a good one. Oh, <laughs> uh, there you go. All right, good job, buddy. <laughs>